<laughs> Colin Pops. Hello and welcome to Colin Pops. Oh, I like that, Colin. Thank you, Margie. <laughs> but, uh, that's a little, uh, little, uh, well, I was going to say, yeah, you know what you should do, Colin, we should, uh, when we do the show, when we do the, like, the BAFTA show, which will be the Saturday before, um, we should get a Prosecco, and we'll, we'll crack that open, shall we? I suppose we could do that, yeah, yeah, why not, we'll do that. I don't know what for, <laughs> but we'll use it as a sound effect, and we'll drink the something. All right, then, Margie. Um, and we'll do it for the Oscars week as well. Oh, yes, we'll do that as well. Not too much, I don't want to get... But it is Saturday. That's all right. Yeah, we can do that, Margie. Thank you, Colin. So, Margie. Yes. What have you been up to this week? Oh, I got all excited this week. Um, I, it was Burns night. I had <laughs> I had free Agis down a local pub. That was fantastic. That was met some lovely old people. I think lovely old people. Well, all sorts really. Yeah, you get down my way. <laughs> That's lovely, Margie. I know, darling. Um, so yeah, I got a bit excited, so I thought I'd better hole up, um, and I sort of settled down. I actually ploughed into some of the movies for BAFTA's Oscars. Oh, which ones did you go for? Because uh, I, I, me, me and you, we watched, there was a film we watched last night, which was, which I really enjoyed. Yes, I know you did. I enjoyed that too. But I suppose bef before we get on to that one, um, uh, 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 you texted me, I think on Thursday morning, I think it was, um, you were, you decided at, uh, breakfast time, uh, which is, uh, well, actually, I know you, so it's not that unusual, um, you decided that you were going to watch All Quiet on the Western Front. I did, and, um, I thought I'll get this one out the way, which I wanted, to, I mean, it's got, Something like what nine or ten or something on the Oscars nominations that is, and was it fourteen for BAFTA? And um, do you know which ones it's got without having to go through a blooming <laughs> oh dear uh, minefield? No pun intended. I will just have a quick look, Marjorie. Um, all got for BAFTA. Uh, got supporting actor. Best film, original score. I did, I did like the score because that was quite unusual. I thought so. Yeah. Um. I, but I, I don't know what else is in the other. I don't know what's in the other categories. So that'll be interesting. Special visual effects, editing, film not in the English language. Best direction, adapted screenplay, makeup and hair. It's an odd one, isn't it? Uh, well, you know, they got to get the buzz cuts right, haven't they? <laughs> and all that mad. Uh, cinematography, costume design, sound, I can sit where well, sound, I can imagine that. Yeah, you know, rat attack, boom. Production design, I don't know about that, I mean, it's mad, isn't it, so, you know. And casting. Yeah, well, I mean, the, the, the chaps in it, they were all really good. But the thing is, Colin, right, it's a war film, right? So, the thing about war films, right, one second. Are you right now, Margie? Yeah, i just got to sort out my seat. Um, well, the thing is, for me, right, it's, um, as a movie, it's kind of like, oh, I, I guess it is the futility of war and it's horrible, you know, it's, you don't come away from it feeling good, obviously, and you shouldn't, because it's blooming horrible, and the thing is, it's nothing new, so I don't know whether it's for a, maybe it's for a younger crowd, I don't know, because, you know, who doesn't know that any war, let alone World War Blooming One, was just disgusting so it's like you know sorry it's not really breaking new ground for me sorry about that but um, yeah i just found it like oh god here we go not another one okay Roger. well you know you're attracted to your opinion obviously um have you seen it yet then colin no um because i'm uh, in a way i'm kind of you know it's like uh, I, I, I as you say it's like oh what a minute not another bloody war film Oops, sorry about that um and, you know, I'm not really one for watching people getting blown up. I don't, it's not that entertaining, really, for me. No, it's not. That's, I mean, that is the point, obviously. But, um, I think if it's going to win anything, then it's, you know, I don't mind. The cinematography was really good. There's some beautiful bits in there. And there's that interesting bit about how 
like the beautiful shots and stuff that they have, you know, you contrast that with the blue and horrible bits and pieces. It's kind of like, oh, that's interesting. But again, it's just like, well, you know, oh dear. Yeah, I mean, you can make anything disgusting look nice. <laughs> I suppose. I don't know, actually. I mean, some of the stuff I do, you will know. <laughs> yeah. uh, anyway, so uh, moving on. Good. Thank you, Colin. Um, what else did you watch? Oh, I know. I wrote you a bar, though. You watched that. I, I, I had a go at that last night. Uh, what do you think about that one? That's hard work. Well, it's not hard work, but my God, that goes on a bit. Um, Again, right, cinematography, beautiful. Love it. But um, story, oh, I found it a bit, oh dear, I don't know, it just seemed a bit more of a slog than anything. A bit like today's podcast, really, Colin. I'm only joking, darling. Right, right, no, I know what you mean. Uh, so anyway, uh, yeah, I mean, you know, it visually striking. Yes, it is, yeah. And, you know, the story is interesting. Um, but, yeah, it's one of them, isn't it? It certainly is. That's probably what's only got one nod. Well, could be. Who knows? So anyway, uh, going back to like the film that we watched last night, though, how much fun was that? That was absolutely brilliant. So uh, for the viewers, listeners at home, uh, me and Margie, well, Margie and I, and me and Colin, <laughs> we watched She Beast. Yes, we did. That's got the lovely Jared Harris in it. And um, who's the name of the, the, the person who played the little girl, Maisie? Uh, let me just have a quick look for you, Margie. Uh, sea Beast. Sea Beast. Blah, blah, blah. Oscar. Oh, hang on. Do I want that? Uh, what are you doing, Colin? I'm just trying to get my uh, buttons all in here. Uh, here we go. Uh, let me just uh, click on that one. No, click on that one. You could do with a producer to do all this for you, Colin. Oh, no. Um, ain't got the budget, though, Margie. Oh, no. It's tough times. So, what you got? Here we go. And, uh... Zaris Angel Hader. There we are. That's a nice name. Zaris. Oh, still going. Angel Hader. Uh, what, what's her character's name again? Maisie... Maisie... <laughs> Maisie Brumble. Oh, Maisie Brumble. That's a nice name, that, isn't it? That is. Um, uh, actually, there's a character, Gwen Butterby. Do you remember her? Not off the top of the head. That's, uh, guess who, guess who voiced that? I couldn't tell you. That's Kathy Burke. No. Really? Yeah, that's Kathy Burke. It's Gwen Battery. And, uh, oh, we got Dune. Dune McKeegan. She said it. She was the queen. I don't believe it. That's fantastic. That is. I didn't, I didn't recognise her either. Oh, God. Anyone else popping out? Uh, Dan Stevens. He was in The Queen. Not The Queen. What one about? The Crown. No, not The Crown. You mean Downton Abbey? Yeah, that's what, that's what I meant. Oh, that's it. Well, I didn't know that. I was going to have a quick whittle when the credits are coming in, so I missed all that. Well, that's nice. That's a lovely film. Right, that's all fantastic, Colin. Can we go down the pub now, please? Yes, we certainly can, Margie. And uh, so, well, thanks for tuning in, everyone. Obviously, that's a bit of a mouthful this week. It is a bit, isn't it? I've, you know, kept, what, three, three movies we watched. Yeah, we have done. So, um... Uh, Anyway, uh, thanks to you, Margie, for coming in. That's all right, darling. Thanks, everyone, for tuning in. And uh, we'll uh, be back next week. Ha ha ha! Colin Pops!